Hey, John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a, a question here about writing a resignation letter. I thought this was uh, kind of an interesting topic to, to talk about. Uh, I think a lot of developers often are in the point of need to write a resignation letter. So, uh, so this email is from Kevin. Kevin says, uh, hey John, I'm a huge fan of Manning books and uh, guess which book was on the number one spot. I really loved your book and I wish I had read this book 15 years ago when I graduated college. Please censor my name if you're going to publish a video about my question. So we'll just say Kevin. <laughs> uh, I won't tell you the last name. Um, and uh, he said, I've recommended your book uh, to numerous fellow peers. So here's my issue. I'm currently with a great company with awesome people to work with. Unfortunately, I am the only full stack developer in my team and recently I got a job offer from a previous company I used to, uh, to, to, I used to work at. It was a typical project with multiple developers who can take over my work. Uh, when, then I feel relieved to leave the company with good hands. The offer began by 10% more and I've kept rejecting it until they said 35%. Um, since my family is saving for a down payment for the mortgage, it's really hard to reject this offer. Once I leave the company, I know that the people I work with will be greatly disappointed and possibly their jobs, uh, system engineering folks. Um, for whatever dumb reasons, I just can't hire new developers for next six months or so. Being without a developer for six months, the whole project could even be canceled. They've really put all the eggs in one basket and believe that I'll stick with the project until it's completed. I've also, I also believe that as well, since my pay is quite above average and no other company, uh, company's offer would even come close. Anyway, these are the nicest people I've ever worked with and I do get excited to wake up every morning to work with them. I literally have no excuse of leaving the job except more money. I just feel like uh, an, an a-hole uh, if I write a resignation that basically said, old job offered 35% more, peace. <laughs> It isn't like I'm going to be learning new skills from the old job either, which was the reason I left the company. Honestly, if my family wasn't saving for a down payment, I wouldn't leave. It's just amazing that I'm almost doubling my, the salary in three years. If you were me, would you take the new offer? I've already taken the offer and for many days trying to come up with a good way of writing the resignation letter in advance. Thanks for the advice. So a little bit, little bit of a long email, but I wanted to include the whole backstory here. Uh, you know, Kevin, as I'm, as I'm reading this, uh, you're, you're, you're making justifications. Even to me, uh, you don't need justifications. You know, it's business is business. Uh, it's good that you like your team. It's good that you're contributing to your team. But, uh, but you know, we, we tend to have this sort of ego thing when we work somewhere, you know, work with people that, that it's all gonna fall apart if, if we're not there. And yes, you, you may be, seriously contributing to this team, but, but life will go on. They'll be okay. They'll, they'll, they'll figure out how, how, to, how to get on without you. Don't, don't be so concerned. I know, I know you're coming from a good place you know, in, in saying that you, you, don't, you feel like you don't want to abandon them. A lot of people, I think, feel like that, but, but you can't really worry about that. You're getting uh, offered 35% more pay. That's perfectly good reason to leave. You don't need, in fact, you don't need any reason. You don't need any excuse. You don't have to give an explanation. In fact, in, when you write a resignation letter, what I would recommend, I'm assuming you've probably already written it by now, but, but what I would recommend for anyone writing a resignation letter in this, in this situation is that you don't give a reason. You just say, hey, it's been great working with you. Uh, you know, I've, I've loved the job here. I uh, would love to help you sometime in the future. Uh, I've, I've got a, an offer and an opportunity in my life that, that I feel like I need to take and, and that's why I'm doing it. Nothing personal, I'm, I'm just taking this opportunity. And that's, that's enough. You don't need to say I'm making more money. You don't need to say justify why this is a better opportunity for you. Don't get into that. No matter what you do, you're gonna hurt feelings and you're gonna cause problems and, and if, you, if you do it that way and, and possibly burn bridges. The best thing to do is just not give an explanation and just talk so much about how you've enjoyed the company that you're working with, uh, that, you, that you're currently working at, and that this is just a new opportunity for you. So anyway, uh, good luck, Kevin. Hopefully you enjoy your new job and, uh, and, and hopefully you don't feel too bad about, about uh, leaving your old one. It, it's business, so you know, don't take it personally and, and, and just don't worry. You know, things will, will continue to go on. They'll, they'll figure out what they're doing and, uh, and one person can't be the, the linchpin for an entire company, so you can't put that pressure on yourself. All right, well, uh, if you like this video, definitely subscribe to the channel and, uh, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.